For nearly a decade, the fate of the McBride Viaduct has been uncertain. A local initiative known as Erie CPR is now lending a hand to help Erie's east side residents have their voices heard. Jet 24's Kristen Nielsen explains. The McBride Viaduct along East Avenue has been the subject of debate for nearly a decade. Members of City Council have voted to demolish the ailing bridge, while others say it's a vital pathway for many living on Erie's east side. Organizers of this march say the event is one of many planned to continue to raise awareness on this issue. A lot of us have gathered together because this bridge is important to us. And I think when it comes to government officials, they're up there in office because they're supposed to cater to what's important to us as people. This bridge is important to us. Our kids' safety is important to us, and I think they should pay attention to that. Just showing them the importance of keeping this bridge alive and keeping it open for not only just the um, just for the betterment of the community, but also for the safety of the children. Safety, that's the key word in this debate. Those who walk the bridge regularly disagree with officials who say the intersection at 12th and the Bayfront can be made safe for children to cross. Like I see like 10 year olds, 12 year olds going up this bridge and I don't want to see them going on the highway bridge because it's dangerous, it's too much cars. And that's a horrible intersection. There are car parts where there had been an accident and the parts came up over the, the uh, retaining wall. Many of those advocating for the restoration of the McBride Viaduct say that this bridge has provided their family with safe passage for generations. Uh, I've, I've come across this bridge. My mom's walked across this bridge to go to school. We've all used this bridge to go to school. But as for now, the fate of this structure is still up in the air. Kristen Nielsen, Jet 24 Action News.